This is not what any of these guys signed up for. Oh, oh dangerous, is The Sharks, he, are coming for it. Ready for this? Crossbreed is a $3.5 million budget sci-fi getting its 2019 release on the home viewing format from Uncourt Entertainment. It comes from American-born filmmaker Brandon Slagle. Slagle is both writer and director here and clearly draws influence from the sci-fi schlock horror from decades of the 80s and 90s putting the bulk of the film's budget right up on the screen for sci-fi fans to behold and revel in the visuals, along with a healthy smattering of practical effects and blood squibs. No-name Hollywood actors Vivica A. Fox and Daniel Baldwin put in extended cameos as the president of the future-set new United States of America and Secretary of Defense Weathers. There's even a small cameo, pretty much a walk-on part for Vernon Wells. Baldwin's character of Weathers empowers an established ex-military officer to form a team of five specialists to undertake an imperative retrieval mission. A galactic alien life form that can be used as a biological weapon has been forcefully abducted during an interplanetary transportation by a group of biological revolutionaries. Bad guy space pirates seeking to use the alien cargo as a weapon to bring about World War IV upon the Earth. Yes, indeed, this future has already been brought near to extinction by World War III in the previous century. And with the future tech and alien species being discovered, as mankind more readily and easily travels out to the far reaches of deep space, the existent threat of this alien crossbreed may soon prove to be one step beyond what mankind can cope with. Crossbreed. Adam Boss Riker, played by the amusingly named Stink Fisher, puts together his team of four other professionals and men he has worked with before to aid him in going dark and off-world to a space station jump stream time cop style to where the alien form is being held. Riker's team is like a roll call from the 22nd century version of the A-Team. His alien team is made up of himself and four codenamed operatives and cohorts. Ryrian June's codename Degenerate located in a space dock bar, chatting up a nude sex bot. Alfonso Sift, codename Four Eyes, a gambler with an augmented eye for a winning hand. Ray Stevenson, codename Slaughterhouse, does exactly what is stated on his rap sheet. And finally, Noob, Codenamed as the newbie recommended to Riker as a young blood who can be trusted in a tight spot and to get the job done. A high five sci fi of explosive talent. Kitted out with protective body gear and DNA recognition weapons, it's soon all action, a go go as they teleport to the space station and go directly into one shootout after another to then come face to alien face with the female creature itself. Not unlike Eve from Species, only already in full-on monster assault mode, unshackled and on the loose. Think Roger Corman's The Terror Within, mixed with Forbidden World from his schlock horror gooey goodness stable of 80s low-budget brilliance. 
Copulated together with 1995 species and a gung-ho team of macho men coming up against a very convincingly and believably good humanoid creature with terrific prosthetics and extendable tendrils and talons like Lady Gaga in a designer alien full body meat suit and plenty of big gun standoffs cheesy one-liners blood squibs are plenty a machete mayhem and a barrage of welcomingly wry regurgitated rhetoric and crossbreed will tick all the right boxes for fans of lower budgeted silliness to delight in 80s action 90s dialogue a non-stop noughties nonsense jump aboard and ride this sci-fi silly express as the setup simple snatch and grab mission turns into a fight to survive and escape this is a solid 5 out of 10 no brainer that has the smell of B movie success thanks to star Stink Fisher and movie maker Brandon Slagle's fond flair for the old school schlock goodness largely missing from movies today may his sci-fi horror trek continue to evolve and metamorphosize before our very eyes thanks for watching bye for now